This isn't the bed she died in, is it? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest Louis Theroux moments. But after a long wait, nothing happened. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of Louis' strangest encounters. Which of his documentaries do you think is the most bizarre? Number 10. Christine Hamilton Flirts with Louis In When Louis Met the Hamiltons, Theroux spent some time with the then-conservative MP, Neil Hamilton, and his wife Christine. Hamilton's public persona had become associated with corruption and sleaze, which may explain why he chose to take part in the program. However, the publicity stunt backfired as the couple were arrested halfway through filming. Were Christine and I going to be arrested? No. But this was not the strangest part of the film. Louis appeared to get on well with the Hamiltons, and in one wine-hazed moment, he let his guard down a little too much. Oh dear, we've been caught out. You see, Neil knows my penchant for attractive Would you like some cup? Christine cozies up to Louis on the couch, practically sitting on his knee. In her own words, she's flirting. Although he keeps getting his questions in, Louis looks vaguely terrified. Why shouldn't I sit here holding your knee? I mean, it doesn't mean a damn thing. It means nothing to you, it means nothing to me, and so what? It's just... It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Number 9. The Westboro Baptist Church Boycott Swedish Vacuum Cleaners the members of the Westboro Baptist Church have an unusual approach to Christianity. They once regularly picketed soldiers' funerals. Their reasoning was that their deaths were America's punishment from God for enabling homosexual behavior. But the church's targets get even more random. Do you know what the sign means? No. Shirley? She doesn't know what it means. On Louis' first visit, he attended a boycott of a local hardware store that sold Swedish vacuum cleaners. Swedish authorities had apparently imprisoned a local pastor for preaching against homosexuality. In the eyes of the most hated family, this meant that everyone in Sweden was going to hell. Abroad. Am. Swedish Yen. The children of the family seem confused, but who can blame them? Number 8. The Nazi Pop Twins Although they became the subject of a later documentary by James Quinn, we first met the Nazi Pop Twins in the 2003 film Louis and the Nazis. Lynx and Lamb are twin girls, once part of a pop duo named Prussian Blue. The band was formed by their mother April when the girls were 11 years old and their music was mainly white nationalist propaganda. The meeting with the twins was one of the most unsettling moments during Louis' dealings with the far right. It's weird enough to use your children as a tool to push an extremist agenda, but the juxtaposition of the girls' innocent appearance with the hate-filled lyrics of their songs was pretty shocking. Number 7. Scientologists Louis' Scientology movie was awash with moments of weirdness. Nothing suspicious about that. The journalists' efforts to get close to the notoriously secretive cult were mostly rebuffed, but his attempts were amusing in themselves. Among the Scientologists' eccentricity and arrogance appear to be the order of the day, and each encounter is more bizarre than the next. Louis has a run-in with members of the Sea Org on a closed road, which ends in a bizarre standoff. Tell him to why, stop. Why, you tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. You tell him to stop and I'll tell him to stop. We get a cameo from a bikini-clad actress with no apparent awareness of the world around her, and an ex-member of the cult teaches us all about brainwashing techniques. Do I look like I'm brainwashed to you? I'm your neighbor. I'm your best friend. Number 6. Louis upsets the wrestling coach and pays for it. These guys go through it every damn day, and you got the nerve to ask me that bullshit. 
Louis's Weird Weekend series, as its name suggests, features plenty of strange encounters. But the journalist got more than he bargained for when he accidentally insulted the coach in an episode on wrestling. The sergeant put Louis through his paces, pushing him beyond his limits. You might give up. No, you're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. Theroux is a good sport, as always, but the whole thing is pretty uncomfortable to watch. In what almost appears like bullying, Louis is forced to shout from the floor that he's a dying cockroach and do push-ups until he's actually throwing up. Maybe he shouldn't have implied that the wrestlers weren't real athletes, but it makes for a strange bit of TV, as Louis's status as an impartial observer goes completely out the window. No. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't nothing! Number 5. When Louis Met Jimmy Savile I've got him on the ropes. I've got him on the ropes. He's on the ropes. With hindsight, Louis Theroux's interview with Jimmy Savile is probably the most disturbing of all his documentaries. However, back in 2000, as far as the general public were aware, Savile was just an aging TV personality and charity fundraiser. Even Louis couldn't predict that a decade later, he would be revealed as one of the most prolific predators in British history. Did you argue much when you were living together? Never. Never? Never. Bicker? There's no point in arguing. And what about if you had a girl with you? Uh, she would have actually killed the girl. But the program did provide us with a few clues. Some of the exchanges are decidedly strange, but the focus of the documentary seemed to fall upon Savile's obsession with his late mother, perhaps obscuring the more sinister moments. So tabloids don't, you know, pursue this whole, uh, is he, isn't he a paedophile yes. line, basically? Yes. yes. Number 4. UFO Hunting and Alien Mutilation I read something in your catalogue about a uh, alien mutilator. In another Weird Weekends episode, Louis spent time with UFO hunters in the deserts of southwestern USA. Tonally, it's not one of the most serious installments of the series, and some moments are seriously strange. How does this rate? Is this an extreme one, an average one, or not, you know, kind of light one? Um. I'd say it's average for this part of the San Luis Valley. Louis travels out into the desert with some alien enthusiasts who arm him with specialized equipment used to hunt and kill invisible alien life forms. In a later scene, he is taken to see a mute or apparent alien mutation. Oh, is that not? It's. <coughs> it's. Yes. <coughs> It's wrecked to this bubbling. It seems that the alien's primary aim, after traveling through portals to Earth, is to kill and mutilate livestock. Makes perfect sense. Number 3. Louis as the Ranger A gay adult film is probably the last place you'd expect to spot the unassuming journalist, but Louis agreed to a cameo for his Weird Weekends episode on pornography. Is the Ranger gay? I, I don't think a Ranger is necessarily gay. He makes a brief appearance as the Ranger, an apparent asexual character who drops in to impart some information before leaving in a hurry. Louis gives his best acting attempt, but his costume and the delivery of his lines are comedy gold. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm just out telling everyone to be on the lookout for an escapee from Jordan Valley Prison. The surreal interlude also provides the audience with a bit of light relief in an episode that actually turned out to be quite serious. You can keep that composite, and if you need to, call me. Number 2. The Sensual Eating Party Dedicated to building deep emotional connection, the group's members are mostly in non-monogamous relationships. Details about the event were vague, but it had something to do with eating. Louis isn't scared to get involved for the sake of a good documentary, but in a 2018 episode of Altered States, he took things to another level. While exploring the world of polyamorous relationships, Louis took part in a sensual eating party, allowing himself to be fed and massaged by the other party guests as part of a communal experience. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, yeah. It doesn't matter at all. Remember your yeses and your noes. He did call and get his wife's permission first, though. Louis looks pretty uncomfortable with the whole situation, and it's all very surreal, but the people around him have no inhibitions, and he does get slightly more relaxed as the night wears on. Number 1. The Extraterrestrial Visit Stop. Morning. How's it going? <laughs> you ever <laughs> short? Hi, how are you? Going? Yeah. Morning. If the alien mutilations and hunting missions of Louis' Weird Weekend episode on UFOs weren't strange enough, 
we were also treated to an actual visitation from an alien life form, apparently. <laughs> This is Central Control. The Reverend Robert Schultz of the Blue Rose Ministry invited Louis to experience the moments that his extraterrestrial friend Corton took control of his body. The Reverend appears to go into a trance and with an altered voice begins talking as Corton. This is the voice of Instruct Relay Automatic. In and for the planet you of the Earth called Jupiter. Louis attempts to hold a dialogue with Corton, but he doesn't get many answers. However, the alien does offer kindly greetings to the viewers at BBC Two. Does Corton have any message for the viewers of BBC Two? We greet you in peace, son. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.